Hey everyone, this is Marbozilia and this is part 29 of Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. So, I'm going to continue where I left off, and there's one important thing I wanted to talk about real quick before I start any new war. And these are my crown laws in my kingdoms. Because right now I have four important titles. My empire, obviously, since I'm the emperor, and my three kingdoms. And each one of these has its own crown authority. And so, Kingdom of Gardariki has crown authority on high. This is the kingdom with my capital. But the Kingdom of Lithuania has crown authority on low, and the Kingdom of Konungadr has crown authority on minimum. Now, I do believe that your empire's crown authority precedes the crown authority of the kingdoms if these kingdoms are de jure part of the empire. At least I'm pretty sure that's how it works. However, this is still relevant for the succession laws. And that's kind of important, because I have two sons right now. And while my oldest son is my direct heir, and he will inherit the empire, so I will not lose control of any territory, because I will still be the emperor, but I will lose some of my kingdom titles, and I do care about that, because I don't want any of my vassals to be too strong. And having a brother with two kingdom titles would be just a little bit too dangerous for my next ruler. So, I need to take care of two things right now, basically. My second son, I think I'm just going to murder him, honestly. That's the best option that I can see. He's in my court at the moment, I can't start a plot against him. So I'll just have to murder him outright. So I'll send my spy master here and wow, half of my council is unemployed at the moment. So let's take care of that real quick. You go here and my steward goes here. So, I also do need to raise my crown authority, especially in Lithuania, because Lithuania is not the jure part of Russia. So, I'm going to do that. I will also ra raise it in Konongadr, just to be able to get primogenitor there later. I want to keep all my kingdom titles on my emperor, mostly because I don't want these kingdoms to go to anyone else, regardless of the fact anyone holding any of these would still be my vassal. I just don't want any of my vassals to get too strong. So, let's raise it here. And I'm going to also raise it in Lithuania. Now, obviously, I need crown authority to be on high in order to pass primogenitor succession law. So that's the reason why I'm going to try murdering my second son. That will leave me with only one son, and he will inherit everything. Oh, what? Vassals might revolt. Oh, this guy. Oh, he's the Duke of Kurland. Right. My Chancellor is already there, working on it. But yeah. Okay, so, my next target. I was going to declare Holy War on Hungary and take these three counties, but first I'm going to declare war on Turov. Turov is currently revolting against Hungary. So I can take advantage of that and declare war myself. I'm just going to wait for my retinues to move to Konungadr. This is Hungarian army right here. So I want to merge everything I have first. Are they moving to Turov? I hope not. They are. So I need to hurry up with this. Right, I'm going to declare war right now. I'll just check my leaders here. Can I get anyone better? Yes, I can. That's a little bit better now. Right, let's declare war. This will make the Hungarian army hostile, obviously. But it looks like they were en route to siege Turov. So I can prevent that from happening. By attacking them. Quite simply. I'll just move to Turov and they will probably follow. And even if they won't, I don't really care about that. I lost one of my councillors, my diviner. Alright then, you go back to Vilnos then. Right, back to the war. So that means I should be able to take Turov. Without any problems. He can't really do anything with 4000 troops when I have 7000. I could just raise my personal levies while I'm at it. I see no reason not to. 
Right, I'm going to do it. I'll just wait for him to move across this river. There we go. Raise personal levies. I'm going to dismiss my mercenaries once I'm done with Holy War against Hungary, because that's my next war. Once I take Turov, I'm declaring Holy War on Hungary. To take this duchy over here. This is a duchy. These three counties belong to one duchy. That's going to be my target. Going to Holy War against Hungary can be a little bit risky because, oh, I moved out of Turov there. Uh, going to war with Hungary can be a little bit risky because they are Catholic. Which means any other Catholic ruler could join the Holy War on Hungary's side. However, they are a little bit too far, so I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, all of these Catholic rulers are way over to the west. So by the time they could gather an army and send that army all the way here, I'm probably going to be done with this war. But I don't think they are even going to join the Holy War in the first place, because they are a little bit too far. If they were bordering me, then I would be more worried about that. So it should be relatively safe to declare Holy War on Hungary. But first, obviously, I'm taking Turov. It's going to be mine, that's quite obvious already. Only 400 defenders there, so I'm just going to assault this. Like so. Assault again, and again, and that's 100% war score. There we go, it's mine. Just need to create some vassals now. Let's do that real quick. There. Do I have someone useful in my court? This is my son. Oh yeah, I'm getting unlanded sons penalty right now. So I could give tour of to my first son, to my direct heir. Actually, hold on. The county that I'm going to give to my direct heir is going to be mine when he inherits everything. So I could give him one of the counties that I want to keep. Let's see. Oh yeah, I need to use one of these. Okay. I'll just give him Narva. Yeah, sure. Sounds good to me. Why did I lose my Diviner there? Oh well, doesn't matter. Right, so I'm at 9 out of 9 now. Dismissing my personal levies and now I'm going to declare Holy War. That's going to be Holy War for Galich, these three counties over here. And like I said, I don't really think anyone's going to join this holy war on Hungary's side. I will be very surprised if anyone does. And even if they do, I'm going to be done with this by the time they can send an army. So, I think I'll just raise all of my personal levies for this, just to make it faster. Yeah, that sounds reasonable enough. So, come here. I don't think they have a big army. Definitely not. I mean, I beat them not too long ago. There's no way they reinforce back to full. Especially since they are busy fighting their vassals that are revolting against them. I'm not dismissing my mercenaries yet. Just to be safe. I mean, I paid 300 gold to hire them in the first place. And I'm actually in positive balance now? No, I'm not. But it's okay, I'm not losing that much and this will be over quick. I'll just split all my troops into three armies and siege all three counties at once. That's raiders, but I don't really care about that. They can't siege me. Yeah, my vassals are already pissed off. That's fine. Now, oh, and you know what? Once I'm done with this war, I could declare holy war on Ungvar. Ungvar is currently revolting against King of Hungary. So I could declare Holy War on them and take all four of these counties in one go. That sounds like a good plan. That's what I'm going to do. 5,000. That's not quite enough to beat me. Oh, and yeah, my Emperor is probably really leading something. Yeah, he is. You stay home. They withdrew. Actually, no, they are still here. I could just attack that. 
I don't see why not. Right, I'm just going to attack them. Because I can. That will give me extra war score. Oh, actually, what I could do is move this army here and then move the 9000 over here. Right, that's what I'm going to do. So this army can continue the siege in Galich, and the 9000 here can move over to that other county. Oh, what? I got possessed. Interesting. I never had a possessed ruler before. Apparently that leads to some interesting events. So we'll see about that. <laughs> hmm. He's 54 years old and he's maimed as well. Which gives him minus 2 health modifier. That means he's more likely to die. At least I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Right, let's finish this war first. I'll probably have to take all three of these counties to get 100% war score. I might have to attack that army as well. I actually don't want to attack it to get extra war score from that. Can they run away in time? No, they are not running away. There we go. I should be able to win this no problem and that will give me some war score. I can assault this. Should I? I guess so. Just to make it faster. There, I win. Oh, that didn't give me any war score. Oh well. There we go. Wow, there are a lot of holdings in these counties. Only 6%? That's not a lot. Oh yeah, that's this person again. I don't even know who he is. He's not part of my dynasty anyway, just some random person I never wanted to tutor in the first place. This probably happened before I took over, before the current guy took over as a ruler. Oh yeah, that's plus 40 with the High Chief of Kurland. He didn't like me very much. So that's 85, nice. Is it? Yeah, it is. I can send my Chancellor elsewhere now. I'm also going to take a look at the Revolt Risk map. Oh yeah, my... Marshal is currently in Minsk. How's Revolt Risk in Minsk? Only 2%, so I could move him to Torov now. Let's do that. What about my Chancellor? Let's have a look at my vassals. I'll just sort them sort them by opinion. Oh yeah, I do have some feudal vassals in the negatives, like this person. Right. I'll just send my my, my, my chancellor here. Back to the siege or sieges. This will take a while from the looks of it. Mostly because of all these holdings. But it's fine, I'm going to win, quite obviously. Unless they send a massive army that they don't have. The King of Hungary is busy with his vassals anyway. Should I just assault this right now? I guess I could, this is only a city. So it should be safe to assault it. Okay, I'm going to assault it. And this one as well. And this one too? No, not yet. There. 23%. Yeah, I'll need to take all of these holdings, quite obviously. Who's this person? Can I execute her? No. Let her rot. Are we done yet? 37%. This county is done. And the other ones are going to be done soon. I can assault this, only 500 defenders. What? Plus 10% morale for the defenders? That's okay, I'll just assault this with 15,000 troops. 
62% war score. I think I can get rid of my mercenaries now. I won't need them anymore. It will save me some money. Assault? Yeah, sure. I got 10,000 troops. And again, 78%. There, I think he's surrendering. Yeah, nice. So that's three new counties for me. And the next target is going to be Ungvar. That seems like an obvious choice here. But first, I need to create some vassals as usual. So that's going to take a moment. Come on. Yeah, I don't think there's a way to do this faster. At least not that I know of. I'm at 12 out of 9, so... That means I need three new people in my court. Come on, where are you? There he is. I think that's this person. So you can take... One of these. Doesn't really matter which one. I'm handing out all three, anyway. That's 11 out of 9. Hakon and Emond. I'll just hire two at a time to make it faster. Where is it? One more. There he is. Alright. I'm going to dismiss all my troops and declare war. Might as well move my retinue first, because I can. Just to make it a bit faster. Someone claims to be a better diviner. 19. Yeah, sure. He's better, alright. Oh, Vilnos is Slavic now. Yep. So he can convert Grodno. Right. Should I wait for my retinue to reinforce a bit? Yeah, I'm going to wait. I think I'll wait to lose the negative penalty with my vassals. Or I could just raise their armies after I declare war. I mean, a bit after I declare war once I actually start sieging. I obviously can't raise the army before I declare war. But you know what I mean. Oh, nice. Just in time? I didn't even know my marshal was doing that? What? Oh, yeah. Oh, I think I picked the wrong option, did I? Yeah. I did. I was going to suppress revolts there. So there we go. <laughs> okay, let's declare war. I'll just raise my vassal levies once I lose this penalty. I can start sieging with my retinue. And my personal levies. So holy war for Ungvar. And off we go. Raise all the things. Well, not my vassals. Oh, and I do have enough money to try to assassinate my second son now. I think I'll wait with that a bit, because... If I get the penalty for being discovered, that will negatively affect other people's opinion of me. So what I could do is wait as long as possible and then try to assassinate him a bit later, when I'm much more likely to die. Just to minimize the time that I would have to spend with the negative opinion penalty. That's the Kinslayer, or whatever. There was only 17% chance of that happening, but 17% is still quite a lot. Yeah, 18% chance of being discovered. I'm currently 55 years old, so I could wait until I'm 60 or so. I don't want to wait too long because I could die any moment, especially since I'm possessed and maimed. I didn't have any events from possessed yet. I wonder how that's going to work. I never had a possessed ruler before, ever. So this is the first time. I have no idea what kind of effect it's going to have. 
Right, I'm not going to assault this, not with 5500. I'm waiting to lose this penalty to raise all of my vassal levies. Okay, nice, plus 40 with that person. So I can move my chancellor elsewhere now. Let's have a look. Oh, am I getting a penalty because I'm possessed? Yeah, minus 25. Oh, and I'm holding too many duchies. I didn't even notice that. Okay, I need to take care of that then. Do I really have more than two duchies? My capital, Vitebsk. Oh, and Duchy of Lithuania. But I have two out of three counties in Duchy of Lithuania. This is Vitebsk, I think. Or is it? Oh, this is Vitebsk. I'm holding one county here. I could just hand this county to someone and then give him Duke. I don't really want to have minus 10 penalty with all my vassals because I'm holding three duchies instead of two. I already landed my son in Narva. There's no point to land my other son when I'm going to kill him. So I'll just grab another person from my court and give him Minsk. So invite holy man. Oh, I didn't catch the name. I'll find him. Usually not hard. Does this person? No, that's my diviner. That's not this person. This one, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's this person. Well, he's North Slavic, so it doesn't matter. He's good enough. So he can take Minsk, and then I'm going to give him the Duchy as well. Duchy of Vitebsk. Yeah, this one. So, this should get rid of the penalty for having too many duchies. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, he desires Kingdom of Lithuania. Cool story, bro. But I don't have the penalty for holding too many duchies anymore. Oh yeah, that's this person again. Why do I care about him again? I don't. Oh hey, I can get gain 5 party out of this. Sure. <laughs> Minus 3 still. I'm waiting to lose that, as I said. Oh yeah, I need to make sure my emperor is not leading anything. I definitely don't want him to die right now. I need to take care of my second son first. I do have enough gold right now. I'm kind of waiting to get 900, so then I could have two attempts in a row. I don't think the cost of assassination is going to go down. It's going to stay at 450. And I don't think I can do anything to actually lower this chance. I could try to raise my state intrigue, but there's really no way I can do that. Other than getting better spy master, but I can't get a better spy master, can I? No. 17 is already quite decent anyway. How's the penalty? Minus 2. I can assault this soon. I'll probably have to take all of these counties to get 100%. Was that my chancellor? I think so. Oh yeah, he is right here. Yeah, she's at 91 now. So let's see, who's lowest now? Chief of Grodno. Okay, I can work on that. I could fabricate some claims against these two counties because I don't have any Casus Belli on them because they are reformed Slavic, as I am. But considering I expect my current ruler to die in the next 5-10 years, it would be a waste of time fabricating any claims now because they can't be inherited. Nice, more people converted. Grodno is still not fully Slavic though. Great, raiders, but they can't siege me here. So that's okay. Grodno is converted. So I can move my diviner elsewhere. What about these counties? Oh, these are partially Catholic. I don't want that. 
So I'll set my diviner here then. Okay, back to the siege. My penalty is almost gone. But I cannot solve this now. There we go. And wow, there are a lot of holdings here. Each one of these counties has at least two holdings. But that also makes these counties quite good, I want to take them. Come on, get rid of this penalty already. Is it gone yet? No, it's not. Assault. Now it's gone, okay, good. Time to raise all the things. Like so. Now I can move them all here. I'll just create two or three armies once they arrive. Just double checking if everyone's actually moving. No, they are not. Slackers. Get a move on. What's that? Oh, can I imprison this guy? Oh no, I thought that's the chief of Kurland. His face is kind of similar. I got excited for a moment. He's actually kind of dangerous because he's ambitious and desires Kingdom of Lithuania. His opinion of me is quite high right now, but... He was the faction leader not too long ago. Right, back to the siege. Only 400 defenders, I can assault that. So that's the first county done. And my ward score is at 30%, not too bad. This might be quicker than I expected it to be. Oh, interesting. Oh, some people joined the Holy War. Did they? Yes, they did. Oh yeah, all of these people here. Right. Okay, this might get interesting. I need to finish this fast. I'm glad I raised all my vassals levies, because that's definitely going to help. They need to move faster, though. So, these guys joined the Holy War. They could have a reasonable army. They have six or seven counties right now. I think they are the only threat right now. Other than Hungary. Right, I'll just create second army and start sieging the other county at the same time. I can start sieging it already. While I wait for all the other troops to arrive. Can I assault this yet? No, not yet. Come on, move it, move it. What am I paying you for? 30%, yeah, I'll need to take all four counties. To get 100% war score, unfortunately. Mm, I can actually siege all three at once. Yeah, I'll just create three armies, roughly the same size. And siege all three of these counties at the same time. What? Oh, I inherited something from my courtier? Okay, whatever. That's my ward again. I can gain 5 piety out of that, sure. I don't really care about that person. Not part of my dynasty, so why would I? There, now I'm sieging all three at once. More people converted to Slavic. I should be able to assault this now. So let's do that. This should do the trick. So all three armies will be roughly at 8,000 troops. Brave Zelos. Or just Zelos. Whatever. I still want to know what this person is. Chief of Orsha. Looks like he's the heir of the Chief of Orsha. 
Weird. Are we done yet? Oh yeah, the game was paused, right. 39% war score. It will be done soon. So all these people joined the holy war, but they are not actually sending any troops. Worst reinforcements ever. Unless these are the reinforcements. 39. Hmm, I'm scared. Come on, siege this faster and harder. This is my retinue, I believe. This army right here. This county is almost done now. One more holding, I believe. There we go. I win. So I can split this in half. Let's do it. Good enough. No, not like this. There. These counties might be a little bit tricky to defend in the future because I have to go through here to actually get here. I can't move directly from Galich into this county, for example, because of the mountains, I guess. As indicated by this border right here. Come on, hurry up. Assault and assault. It's almost done. 64%. New person for my dungeon, she's 5 years old. Perfect execution target. Eight hundred defenders, yeah, I can assault that. Oh yeah, I don't need this other army here. Not really. This is almost done, 94%. 100, awesome. So, enforce demands. And that's four new counties for me. Which means this is a perfect moment to finish this part, so I'm going to finish it here and continue in next one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.